Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. Got a haircut, got a pixie instead of the buzz. I got a nice little close pixie, so uh, I just decided to do this instead of the buzz. But doesn't mean I won't buzz in the future. So today I want to talk about my Max Air fan. Uh, a couple of people have asked me about it. I had it for the road trip to Arizona. I had it to this road trip, so I've had it a while. And people have asked me what, if, what do I think of it so far. So I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute, uh, but I wanna tell you a couple stories. Yesterday morning, I had my door like half open and uh, I was inside doing something in the morning and I hear, I heard a knock. I was like, who's knocking at my door? <laughs> uh, so I peek my head out and there's a woman standing there with a sign and it says, you don't know me, but I know you. So I had a laugh. It was so funny. So <laughs> I hopped out and it was this woman. Her name was Carrie and she somehow found me on this beach. If you live around this area, I think you recognize it. So, um, you know, I don't feel like it's a great big secret where I am, but I'm not gonna announce where I am. So that's just, that's just how it goes for this gal. So she just uh, told me that she watches my channel and we had a little gab and she was very lovely. And of course we had a dance. I'm always ready to dance. So yesterday uh, afternoon, it got really windy. It got really windy here. The girls were fine. I don't know. I was feeling a little annoyed by the wind. I said, I want to go inland where there's, where there's no wind. So I just went to this park down the street. And it was just so nice because the wind wasn't blowing me over. I just needed some calm, some calmness because it was just, there was just the, 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 the ocean was very ferocious and big waves coming in. Um, and I was just, I needed to break from it, so, because it had been kind of the whole day. So I went down to this park and I just set my chair up. I found it, it had this little, it was on this little body of water. So that's where I spent the day. I spent the day there, it was just, just sweet. Then I came back to the beach for a while. When I came back to the beach, the girls were like, you gotta hear this. Somebody came by and brought us presents today. And I was like, who? And she said, remember yesterday, the woman that came by that you danced with, Linda, the couple I told you about yesterday on yesterday's video, Linda and Tom. So Linda was telling us during that conversation that day, she was telling us how she's been teaching herself 
um, watercolors, painting with watercolors. And she's been learning like on YouTube. And I think she said she's been, she took a live class too, but she's been doing a lot of YouTube classes too. So she came by the beach the next day with three watercolor paintings, one for each of us. And Renee's had purple flowers. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Let me show you mine. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? She's, I think she's just a beginner. So I have to find a spot for this. I really have to find a spot for this. So I've been thinking about it and I'm gonna find a spot for this in my van because it's just so special that she came by the beach on this windy, windy, chilly day no sun she came by to look for us the two of them were here and i wasn't so they passed it on to me thank you so much linda thank you thank you thank you i'm so grateful so about the maxia fan so um you know i really don't use it that much for the fan you know when i first started thinking about putting uh ventilation on the roof Initially, I was thinking about just getting vents that opened. Two small ones, about this big. One in the front, one in the back. Just vents that you just like pop up and turn and they just open and just ventilate. And then the more I thought about it, I was thought I would be, uh, I might be sorry I did that, that I didn't have the fan. So I had the Maxia fan put in. I almost never use the fan and I'll tell you why because I have this USB fan that's clipped uh, right there next to my bed and when I when I'm sleeping if I'm hot I put that on it goes right in my face and that that feels really good this one the roof one in order for it to work a win another window has to be open something has to be open because it's it's taken it's taken the air it's pulling it's got to draw the air in and then it it's it's like if everything's closed up and it's and it's on you can hear it kind of struggling it's trying to it, it needs a place for this air to go and then come back like this just like when I turn my little fan on it's always going like this it's going like this you know so if I'm at a campground and I have my screens up then it's perfect because I can put this on, it comes down, it comes in, it gets sucked out the windows and it just comes back, it just comes back, it just comes back. Um, but I don't put those screens up when I'm just, if I'm sleeping in a parking lot or if I'm sleeping in Cracker Barrel or I'm, just, I'm not putting those, those screens up. So um, I'm gonna say if I had another window in here, that I could open that had a screen, like a little screen window, it would be perfect. But uh, for me, at this point, at this stage of the game, it feels like I'm glad it's there because I open it all the time, all the time. I really love having, even if it's cold out, I open it um, just to have a little ventilation in here. Also, when I cook, that's what I open. So it's my only window. If you have other windows, uh, I don't know that they really, you really need one on the ceiling too. Um, but I will say that I've never traveled in this in extreme heat. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'll ever travel in this in extreme heat because I despise that feeling. <laughs> I, would, I, I will sleep cold a whole heck of a lot easier than I sleep hot. So I really don't see myself in a place where it's too hot without moving on. But even when I'm cooking and when I'm, I'm doing the instant pot right here or I'm cooking, I don't open it and turn the fan on. I just open it. I just open it. And I just know that like, that's where the heat's going. That's where the steam is going from the instant pot. Cause it's basically right when I do the instant pot, it's always on the floor right here. It's always just going right up there. Um, 
if I had to do it over again, well, like I said, ideally, I would like a small one up front and a small one in the back. Um, maybe I could have done that and had the solar panels in the middle, but I couldn't, you know, if you can have two, two of these fans, then there's, then there's your cross ventilation right there. One is going in, one's going out, and they're just both, it, they're just circulating the air. That's the ideal situation. I don't have the room on my roof for that. Um, I don't even know if I would have room on my roof for, you know, a, a small one over there and then a small one over there and then moving the solar panels down. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to give it much thought because it's not an option anyway because what's done is done. But I just want you to know before you invest in a Max Air fan, which, you know, the Max Air fan itself is about 225 250 this one I got. Um, this one is the Deluxe, but it's not the fancy Deluxe. It's not like the Deluxe Deluxe because the Deluxe Deluxe comes with a remote. And I was like, I don't need a remote control. I mean, I'm... <laughs> Anywhere I am in here, I can reach it, so I don't need a remote. Um, but I did want it to open and be rainproof, so uh, that's the deluxe. I think the, the standard model, if you open it and it's raining, rain's going to come in. So how nice is it when it's raining and it's warm and you just want some ventilation and you just open that thing up and no rain comes in. So that's ideal. Um, uh, So just know that if you don't have a window to open, see, because I'm not going to open these windows overnight, uh, especially if there's bugs. I don't want any bugs come in, even if I crack them a little bit. Um, if it's because if it's warm enough that I want the windows down a crack and this thing, this fan going, if it's warm enough to do that, there's probably bugs because of the because of the heat. So. I need to be in a place where I can put this, the screens up and then I can turn, use this fan. So, you know, and it cost, it, I don't know how much it cost to install it, but it was, it wasn't cheap because it was done with my solar panels. So I don't really remember like how much was for each thing. I'm going to say maybe a few hundred to install it, three, four hundred. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an investment. And I would say, um, get it for cross ventilation if there's a way for you to cross ventilate without putting screens up if you have a window you can crack and no bugs come in and uh, other than that I almost never turn the fan on I'll turn if I get warm I turn that little USB fan on so um, but I'm grateful to have that big hole in my roof that has a screen on it and I and it and, and it's rainproof so I'm very grateful to have that so that's my that's my uh, input on the max fan if you have any questions um, just ask me in the in the comment section um, I, I think I explained myself well enough but maybe not kind of feel like I was a little all over the place So this morning I went to Whole Foods. I did all my grocery shopping. My, my cool is all filled with beautiful things. Then I went to Planet Fitness and grabbed a shower. So I'm all nice and clean. Then I went to the laundromat and did all my laundry, the, all the bedding, the comforter, everything, all the clothes, bags and bags of dirty clothes. And everything is folded, put away and clean and it feels really good. I just had lunch and the sh sun is shining on the beach. It's not a bad day right now, but there's more rain coming in. It was a rainy morning, so that's why I did all that stuff in the rain. And then it's supposed to rain this afternoon for a couple hours. So if that happens, I'll just button up and just relax. I've had a very productive day um, and it just feels good. Everything feels good. 
So I'm going to go do a little bit of prep cooking. I'm going to cook. I went at Whole Foods. I got a bunch of Japanese sweet potatoes. I got, they had all little ones out. And so I just got a whole bunch of little ones. And I'm going to cook all those, cook all those up and have them ready for me because I love them. Thanks again, Linda, for my gorgeous picture. I really appreciate it. It's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful and I'm just honored that you that you made this for me. The three of us are thrilled with it, with ours. Thank you, thank you. So off I go. Prep cooking. Time to prep cook. I'm gonna get the pressure cooker out and get cranking. Chop chop. Bye for now. <laughs>